الحمد لله العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Now yeah so as you know الحمد لله today we will pray our prayers بإذن الله تعالى and tomorrow will be the first day of Ramadan بإذن الله تعالى and it's a short reminder before we end here. Yes it's not for not obligatory to pray the Tarawi prayers, but it is a very good action. Many hadith we've discussed of this that we have just praise Ramadan out of hope and believe wanting Allah, seeking Allah's forgiveness, Allah's will forgive his past sins. As for the major sins, then you have to make Toba and regret and have a firm resolve not to return to those major sins. And from the Ramadan from the actions of Ramadan you can do is Try to read as much of Quran as possible. Every student should be able to read one page a day. And if you really struggle to read the Quran, you can download certain apps and you can read the page with the Shaykh. While the Shaykh reads, you can read it with the Shaykh. One page. So one page is just two sides a day. One good Quran app I advise everyone to use is on Android. It's called the Quran app. It's very good. Um, those who are able to give charity, even 50p a day, those who have money, 50p a day to give charity. And if you're not able, if you don't have any money, have an intention that if you had money, you would give uh, something daily and you will be rewarded for that. So many people were here with us last Ramadan, they're not here with us this Ramadan. So, you know, every day, just yesterday there was some janazas pray, the day, a few days ago, we have been told of certain people passing away. Um, also, from the points that I can remember, general benefits I can mention, is fasting is not only staying away from eating, drinking, and all these actions, but you have to also stay away from all things that destroy the fast, relations, uh, um, or ruin the reward, or decrease the reward. As we mentioned, some people will fast, but they have not got anything from their fast, except hunger and thirst. Abusive language, abusing people, the eyes. Part of it is our eyes and ears. May Allah make this Ramadan a successful month for us, full of good deeds. And we should be uh, eager to do as much as good deeds as possible. Quality also. And also supplication in Ramadan. Fasting. Make dua before you eat suhoor. Make, uh, uh, before uh, the last third of night. The chance because you're going to be waking up for suhoor. So make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For your teachers, for your family, for the poor people. Also from the uh, good deeds, those who are able to go Umrah and Ramadan, those who are able to go to Umrah should go to Ramadan. Should go, should, those who are able to do, go Umrah in Ramadan should go Umrah in Ramadan. It's a huge reward for to do Umrah in Ramadan time. And the main reason, in summary, is that we have to get, try. We ask Allah that He gives us fear of Him. This train, this month is a, a month to train, train us, us, and to tame us. To give us taqwa. Because the de what destroying humans is the desires. is destroying the humans. <laughs> and the desires I mentioned many times is like the raging fire. The more wood you feed it, more it grows, the fire grows. So if you, the desires, if you follow it and obey it, it will never end. It will never stop. There was no limit to the desires. You think, oh, if I do this, this is it. But the desires will keep growing like the raging fire. That's why Ramadan is the month, training month. La Allahakum tattaqoon. That you may perhaps that you may fear Allah. Uh, uh, and we say we will have to also remember that we should not be amazed by our good deeds or whatever that we do because in the Malamal of that the actions will be judged by the ending. You might be praying fasting, but then at the end of your life you destroy it. So we have to try and clean ourselves inside. Seven people today I was outside. And they were saying good things about my children that you know they look nice, etc. Or they got nice hat. I said, brother, it's not important about the outside. I said, what's inside? Our our inside, if it's corrupted, we can wear all the nice clothes, but it doesn't matter. And the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that Allah will look to the hearts. Allah will look to the hearts, except those who come al bin Salim, those who come with pure hearts. So this Ramadan, focus on yourself. Your aim is to paradise, and try to do the good deeds that increase your faith. And that's the most rewarding. 
Okay. And one of the sheikhs today in the khutbah, he mentioned that even for the women, they can go to the mosque, but for them it's more reward in their houses. And we end, up, we end with our lesson, we say, make dua to Allah SWT, that he forgives our sins and he uh, purifies our heart and he lets this Ramadan be the best Ramadan that we had. That is a means for us to enter paradise.